Decarboxylation is a chemical reaction that removes a carboxyl group and releases carbon dioxide. Usually, decarboxylation refers to a reaction of carboxylic acids, removing a carbon atom from a carbon chain. The reverse process, which is the first chemical step in photosynthesis, is called carboxylation, the addition of CO2 to a compound. Enzymes that catalyze decarboxylations are called decarboxylases or, the more formal term, carboxyliases. In organic chemistry, the term decarboxylation literally means removal of the COOH and its replacement with a proton. The term simply relates the state of the reactant and product. Decarboxylation is one of the oldest organic reactions, since it often entails simple pyrolysis, and volatile products distill from the reactor. Heating is required because the reaction is less favorable at low temperatures. Yields are highly sensitive to conditions. In retrosynthesis, decarboxylation reactions can be considered the opposite of homologation reactions, in that the chain length becomes one carbon shorter. Metals, especially copper compounds, are usually required. Such reactions proceed via the intermediacy of metal carboxylate complexes. Decarboxylation of aryl carboxylates can generate the equivalent of the corresponding aryl anion, which in turn can undergo cross coupling reactions. Archaeal carboxylic acids and their salts do not always undergo decarboxylation readily. Exceptions are the decarboxylation of beta keto acids, I or minus, I squared unsaturated acids, and I or minus phenol, I or minus nitro, and I or minus cyanosids. Such reactions are accelerated due to the formation of a zwitter ionic tautomer in which the carbonyl is protonated and the carboxyl group is deprotonated. Typically fatty acids do not decarboxylate readily. Reactivity of an acid towards decarboxylation depends upon stability of carbanion intermediate formed in above mechanism. Many reactions have been named after early workers in organic chemistry. The Barton decarboxylation Kolb electrolysis, Quachai reaction and Hunstiecker reaction are radical reactions. The Krepcho decarboxylation is a related decarboxylation of an ester. In ketonic decarboxylation a carboxylic acid is converted to a ketone. Equals protodecarboxylation equals, protodecarboxylations involve the conversion of a carboxylic acid to the corresponding hydrocarbon. This is conceptually the same as the more general term decarboxylation as defined above except that it specifically requires that the carboxyl group is, as expected, replaced by a proton. The reaction is especially common in conjunction with the malonic ester synthesis and no avenagel condensations. The reaction involves the conjugate base of the carboxyl group, a carboxylate ion, and an unsaturated receptor of electron density, such as a protonated carbonyl group. Where reactions entail heating the carboxylic acid with concentrated hydrochloric acid such a direct route is impossible as it would produce protonated carbon dioxide. In these cases, the reaction is likely to occur by initial addition of water and a proton. In biochemistry, common biosynthetic oxidative decarboxylations of amino acids to amines are, tryptophan to tryptamine, phenylalanine to phenylethylamine, tyrosine to tyramine histidine to histamine, serine to ethanolamine, glutamic acid to GABA, lacine to cadaverine, arginine to agmatine, ornithine to putrescine, 5-HTP to serotonin, LDOPA to dopamine. Other decarboxylation reactions from the citric acid cycle include, pyovate to acetyl-CoA, oxalosuccinate to I plus or minus ketogalatarate, I plus or minus ketogalatarate to succinyl-CoA. Case studies Upon heating, I9 tetrahydrocannabinolic acid decarboxylates to give the psychoactive compound I9 tetrahydrocannabinol. In beverages stored for long periods, very small amounts of benzene may form from benzoic acid by decarboxylation catalyzed by the presence of vitamin C. The addition of catalytic amounts of known has been reported to catalyze the decarboxylation of amino acids. However, Using such catalysts may also yield an amount of unwanted byproducts. References